Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I don't know why I'm doing this here. It's so loud. There's just trucks driving past and Jay's banging something, I don't know. So I'm at the workshop. This is the 60 video. So for anybody that doesn't know, I am doing a 60 build. I'm not a big fan of the word build, to be honest, because I didn't build it. Toyota built it. It's a Toyota Land Cruiser 60 series. It's gonna be my spare car, as opposed to <laughs> this one. <laughs> I've always needed kind of a spare car because I can't really do any big jobs on the cruiser because normally I have to drive it the next day. And anybody who's worked on an old car knows nothing takes a day. Nothing takes as long as you think it's gonna take. Oh, I got Mars here. What are you doing? What are you doing, Marzi? <laughs> <laughs> Trucks go away. That's a okay, girl wait. Do you like my shirt though? I think I showed this on TikTok. Maybe Instagram as well. Anyway, so that is 160 over there. And I have another 60. If you've been following for a while on Instagram, you would have seen the original 60 truck had that 60 for a while now it has a really rusty body but it has a rebuilt 12 ht which was why it was a good buy and then covid kind of delayed the trying to find a good body people just are putting cars up for ridiculous prices and i don't i'm not gonna pay them sorry I'm not gonna fall into your trap so i was happy to wait and so we found another one this one in adelaide why are all where are the trucks going it's a night truck so paid eight and a half grand for that one and then about two grand to get it to Townsville. Not bad. Trying to try and make a good 60 for under 20 grand. This one is a petrol, it's FJ62. They're both autos. And the other one is a 24 volt import. So one's 12 volt, one's 24. I'm gonna take you guys around both of them and show you guys where both are at, what the plan is, why the plan is, what it is. Sorry that it is dark. I'd finished work, charged the camera, and now this is the time when I do stuff and it's dark. And this is why I never do YouTube videos. <laughs> a lot of people get deceived by the original 60, the one with the 12 HT. It actually got like painted over the rust. Like it, I know, I knew this when I bought it, that it had so many trucks. I knew that it had um, a lot of rust. But because it had been painted over, a lot of people didn't think it looked that bad. It is really bad. It's all through the roof, all the pillars, the floors, the doors, the sides, like the sills, just everything. There's rust everywhere. It's not unsavable. It's just that I would rather have just gotten a good body with a little bit of rust and fix that one as opposed to pretty much build a whole new car. You'd be building a whole new 60 pretty much. Every single panel you'd have to fabricate. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Take you guys around tomorrow and um, walk through the 60s. Look at this dog's eyes, ready? I'll take you around them tomorrow and we'll go from there. Also guys, if you aren't already following um, me on Instagram, that is where I am every single day. If you ever want to ask any questions, keep up to date with what's going on, keep up to date with the Marzi boy, jump over there. That's where I am most of the time. If you ever have any questions while you're watching this video, please feel free to drop it down below. I do read them all and I'll try to reply to every single one. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hey guys, so it is a few days later. We just saw the 60 coming inside. Now there's planes. Go away. This is the old body. I've had it for a while and I've just been looking for a body this entire time. The body is very rusty. It just didn't look like it because it had been painted over. Literally, it just painted over the rust. But I know all the rust was there. Hoping to sell the body and chassis to somebody who will fix it because I do think that it deserves a life. <laughs> When I got it, the guy said it had just been rebuilt 10,000 Ks ago. He drove to Brisbane and back. He was using it as a 
tow vehicle to take his boat to the boat ramp. It's been in the ocean a lot, <laughs> which is why I don't want to use that chassis. I do know the guy that rebuilt it, so I'm confident it has been actually rebuilt. I'll show you around. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Obviously it had different tires on. These are my old Falcons off the 75 and I found these rims for sale which are made by Samson Engineering that was in South Australia I believe and they were from the 70s, 80s period of time. I believe they got a magnesium component to them. Anyway they're really old <laughs> but I picked them up and I just thought they looked pretty cool. They're pretty deep. <laughs> This is the factory bar I was talking about, or my work step. It's going to be really handy in taking the engine out. <laughs> a lot of people don't like it, and it's a little bit mean, guys. Like, you can't help it. He was made like that. I haven't looked too much into it because I don't plan on keeping this. I've got a new one. So this bar will stay with this body and will be sold with this body. This one has a PDO winch. It does work. I have tried it. I end up having to fix the dog clutch because it was seized. There was a missing shear pin as well. And I put new rope on it as well. It came with wire rope. So this is the 12 HT. It's all pretty standard. It's going to be fun taking it out, dealing with all the vac lines, but the electrical wire inside of it shouldn't be too bad. This is a 24 volt model. Came out in the Japan imports. I'm having troubles at the moment finding a replacement replacement alternator the alternator is off at the moment because no one makes 24 volt alternators they can get them off an Iveco and Izuzu I can't remember but yeah I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna make it 12 volt another thing with 12 HT it's really hard to get manifolds don't believe they make them anymore so hopefully that this one is good <laughs> there's a quite expensive to buy along with the factory mud flaps but the other 60 I have has a damaged flare so I might be stealing one I think it's this one alrighty in terms of underneath there's not much to really look at yeah it's pretty rusty not bad rust like it's all just surface stuff and it would be easy to tidy up this chassis but the other one is much cleaner yeah so you can see the rust is quite bad all of this is painted like this is brush painted like someone's just got a big brush and painted along I don't know if you can see brush strokes when I first bought it it looked really good and everyone's like what's wrong with it there's nothing even wrong <laughs> but uh yeah when you got closer it was definitely painted over rust uh, so I thought this is pretty cool this is actually a Japanese clothing brand for the active man and the man of good taste what do you think about that Marzi show you insides I kind of really like these door cards but the interior on the other 60s gray everything in here brown really like these seats but if I take the brown seats I've got to take the brown carpet I've got to take the brown door cards I've got to take the brown da brown gray I think I'm gonna keep the gray probably the worst door card the driver's one the passenger one's actually quite nice just got some more rust down here more rust in here more rust up here more rust here <laughs> this is the carpet I guess like kind of shag pile brown the cool thing about this one it has a factory altimeter and thermometer haven't got it to work but I think it's pretty cool cool enough to put in the other one definitely there's a sunroof in this one as well brown 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 I don't know if these are factory speakers they look a lot better than the ones that are in the other car that's for sure just show you in the back so it's obviously got the drop towel gate okay. nice and brown <laughs> Pretty decent condition really. All of this is just bare painted metal. There's no interior trim on it. And the roof lining is pretty good condition. This is probably the worst rust spot in the rear. All up the sides here is pretty good. That's why when everyone was like, you should chop it, I'm like, what? Chop the front bit off? Tailgate's like really good condition. Are you hot? Yes, okay. Ooh. So that is the OG 60. This 60 body, chassis, diffs, interior should all be for sale. I don't know a price yet. I'm gonna have to really look. If anybody wants to give this one some love, it definitely needs some love. It definitely needs um, a lot of rust repairs, new roof, all the gear. If you have any questions about this 60, let me know and I'll answer them in the comments. But yeah, it's a HJ61 24 volt Jap Japanese import. Yeah, I think I'll walk you around the other sister now.
So now we're in the other 60. <laughs> you would have seen a little bit of this in my NT video. This is the petrol FJ62 with the 3F. I got it from South Australia. Very minimal rust, which is what I was looking for. And I wanted a high roof as well. I don't, I know a lot of people like the low roofs, but I just think it's something different. High roof, I thought it was pretty cool. This has gas, taking it out. No need it, don't want it. No interest in it at all. This is the FJ. I believe the bonnet has been repainted and the roof because they're actually quite shiny as you can see compared to the fenders that are sun damaged. The rust spots, so I've got a little rust spot here, here. This one's fenders are pretty good condition. There's one that's got damage to it. That's kind of been repaired. This is the fender that I'm going to take off the other 60. This one has all its mud flaps. As I said, these are very expensive to buy. And the other tires and rims will go on this 60 and I'll sell these ones with the other 60. A lot of people love these rims. I'm not a massive fan of them. I understand that they have a lot of value because of what they are. I've got sliding windows in the rear. The Kmart rear bar, not the twin one because that's where the, the gas gets filled up from. So it's just a single one. I could probably use a sandblast and repaint, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. Um, obviously needs new bearings. Hello, child. What are you doing? Let's go get your ball. Oh, you ate your ball. Did you do this? Is this you? Why'd you do that? That's naughty, Baba. Don't wag your tail. Ah, okay, so again, I've got drop tailgate rear. So this is the other half of the fridge, I believe is what this one is for. Correct me if I'm wrong. Unlike the other one, it has all trim, covers up the metal for the interior. So it looks kind of more finished. All gray interior, everything. Seats are grey, door cards are grey, floor is grey. Most asked questions about the interior is people want to know about this head unit. It is a cheap Chinese head unit. I don't recommend it. It's terrible to navigate. It's slow, glitchy. I think people just have really low standards for <laughs> head units. I like things quick. I get a new phone every year because I my phone slow down so much it bugs. When I click on something, I want it to be instantaneous. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, I don't recommend this head unit. I won't be keeping this head unit. I love the Kenwood that's in the 75. It doesn't look as out of place as what I would think a giant head unit of this size would. It just suits it really well, but yeah, I just don't like the brand at all. So this one has 305,000. Down here is pretty standard. Your rear air conditioning, which is through this weird tube. And as you can see, they've cut the roof lining to put those stupid speakers in. The interior in this is pretty nice. The only issue is again, these switches. A lot of the door handles are cracked. This one had tape put on it. One of these is like, yeah. So I need to find a place to buy new panels. Still has a sunroof, it does work. There's a little bit of surface rust up the top. This is the fridge. So it runs off a separate refrigerant system, I believe. I don't know if there's supposed to be an insert here, but I don't know, 60 people, you have to let me know. Just turn it on and then it's on when the car's on. Rears all in pretty good condition. I just think it's so cool. I love the wagon. I love doing this to a seat. Like that's just cool. Oh, also, I don't know if I showed you another one, but all these 60s have lumbar support. I took the gas tank out and I've taken the tow bar off as well to get powder coated. This is where the LPG tank was. So obviously there's a lot of room there now long range as well. Here looks really new, like all these bushes all look really new. Those shocks look really new. But yeah, this has airbag helpers. Probably was because of the LPG going in that the rear got quite sagged. So these are a spring and it has an airbag inside the coil. One of these on each side. And that's how you pump the airbags up. Chassis rail looks a lot better. A lot less rust. The trans in this 60 has been rebuilt. Most likely use this transmission or I'll keep this transmission as a spare. I don't think I showed you guys in on the other 60, but from what I see when I look at it, the engine mounts are in the exact same spot. 
might be wrong. But everyone's telling me I'm gonna have to cut and move engine mounts. Uh, I don't know anything about 60s, so anyone with any advice, tips, pointers, you've done the swap between an FJ60 to a 12 HG. I appreciate your input. I've had a few people message me, which has been awesome, and let me know what I need to do, so that's been really good. But always happy to hear new points of view about what people have done and found out. But yeah, anybody that's got any advice or any cool mods that you reckon should be done, or anyone making anything cool for the 60 series, let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna get off the floor now. <laughs> there is a lot of auto upgrades out there that I've seen, like valve bodies and torque converters and stuff, so I'm interested in hearing if anyone's done any of those. Mainly for touring, I love the wagons. I love all the wagon aspects of things because I've just owned a ute for so long, so no interest in, uh, in chopping it, sorry. <laughs> I'm currently looking at bull bars because bull bars for 60s there's kind of the ARB and that's about it so if anybody's seen any cool bull bars for 60 series send me some photos because at the moment the ARB one looks the best to me the only issue is everyone's got one and it's not unique and I kind of like unique so yeah let me know so I will end this video here I'm really excited for this build thank you everybody for watching I appreciate it I'm gonna go play with my dog now and he's chewed up ball he gets shitty that you're not throwing the ball for him and he eats them. I'm gonna go deal with that. But yes, thank you everybody and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.